Looks like Samsung's moving things up a bit for the Galaxy S25. According to some fresh leaks, the Galaxy S25 series might drop as early as January 5, which is nearly two weeks ahead of the Galaxy S24 launch this past January. So, if you're already saving up for the new flagship, it looks like you'll need to do it a bit sooner than expected. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Samsung's been running an online survey, asking users to share their biggest issues with their current devices. Things like laggy interfaces, battery life problems, camera quality disappointments, and even overheating are all on the table. And of course, in true 2024 fashion, AI is a hot topic too. They're even asking folks if they'd want new features like Animoji or Memoji creation, better photo recovery tools, and cool stuff like sharing multimedia experiences with friends. Sounds like they're trying to make the Galaxy S25 as personal and intuitive as possible, right? The catch? Samsung is offering a 10% discount for filling out the survey, so they're clearly hoping to get a lot of feedback before locking in the final details. While they can't change hardware specs at this stage, the production for the S25 started back in October, they can still tweak the software, especially their Android 15-based One UI 7 skin. This is where your input could actually make a difference, helping them iron out bugs, improve features, and maybe even add some last-minute upgrades that will really wow us. Meanwhile, the early date for the better release for the One UI 7 is also out, and it looks like Samsung is on the way to make our user experience a lot better. Thanks to a tip from the ever-reliable ICE universe, we finally have some solid info about when One UI 7 might land. According to the leaker, the One UI 7 beta will be arriving next week, right after November 17. And it looks like South Korea and the US will be the lucky first countries to get their hands on it, which is pretty typical for Samsung's rollout pattern. So, if you've been holding your breath for Android 15 on your Galaxy device, it looks like your wait is almost over. That said, don't get too excited just yet. It's still the beta, not the final stable release. Samsung has already hinted the stable version won't hit until next year, likely alongside the Galaxy S25 series. So, if you're hoping for the perfect, bug-free experience right away, you might need to hold off a little longer. All right, folks, let's dive into the full specs, design details, and expected pricing of the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S25 series to help you figure out which one might be your next smartphone. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any updates. We've got a lot to cover. First up, the standard Galaxy S25. The Galaxy S25 is set to rock a 6.36-inch dynamic AMOLED display. This screen isn't just pretty to look at, it promises improvements in brightness and color accuracy that will really make your content pop. You'll get a 120Hz refresh rate along with HER 10 Plus support and a sharp resolution of 1080 by 2340 Plus, it's all protected by Gorilla Glass Victus 3. So, you know, durability is key. For selfies, you've got a 12-megapixel punch hole camera up front, while the rear features a triple camera setup, including wide, ultra-wide, and telephoto lenses. The exact sensors are still under wraps, but we can expect some solid photography capabilities. Under the hood, the S25 will be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 in the US, while global models will have the Exynos 2500 or MediaTek chipsets. You can choose between 8, 12 gigs of RAM and storage options, ranging from 128 gigs up to 1 terabyte, all using speedy UFS4 technology. This beauty is equipped with a 4100 milliamp hour battery that supports 45 watt fast charging. And yes, it'll come with all the modern connectivity options you need 5G, Bluetooth 5.3, Wi Fi 7, and ultra wideband support. It's launching with One UI 7, based on Android 15, and is expected to hit shelves starting at around $800 in January 2025. Next up, the Galaxy S25 Plus. Moving on to the Galaxy S25 Plus, this model features a larger 6.7-inch dynamic AMOLED display with the same fantastic brightness and color improvements. You'll also enjoy a 120Hz refresh rate with HER 10 Plus and a resolution of 1440 by 3120 all wrapped up in Gorilla Glass Victus 3 for extra protection. Selfie lovers will still get that 12-megapixel punch hole camera, and the rear camera setup mirrors the S25 with wide, ultra-wide, and telephoto lenses, though we're still waiting on specifics for the sensors. 
This one's also powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 in the US and Exynos 2500 or MediaTek chipsets globally. You'll get 12 gigs of RAM with storage options of 256 or 512 gigs, again using UFS4 technology. The battery gets a boost to 4900 milliamp hour battery that supports 45 watt fast charging and all the connectivity goodies like 5G, Bluetooth 5.3, Wi-Fi 7, and ultra wideband support. It's launching with One UI 7 on Android 15 and is expected to start around $1,100 in January 2025. Now, let's talk about the star of the show, the Galaxy S25 Ultra. This powerhouse will feature a 6.9-inch dynamic AMOLED display with the same stellar improvements in brightness and color accuracy. It also boasts a 120Hz refresh rate, HDR10+, and a stunning resolution of 1440 by 3120 all shielded by Gorilla Glass Armor 2. For selfies, we're expecting a 12-megapixel camera, with some exciting rumors hinting at it possibly being the first S-series phone to have an under-panel camera. On the rear, you'll get a quad camera setup that includes wide, ultra-wide, telephoto, and a periscope lens. Again, specific sensors are yet to be revealed, but we might get a new 50-megapixel ultra-wide lens. This flagship will be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 across all regions and will come with 12 gigs of RAM, and this time you might also get to see a new 16 gigs variant and storage options of up to a whopping 1TB, all utilizing UFS4 technology. The battery here is a robust 5000 mAh battery that supports 45 watt fast charging. As with its siblings, it will support 5G, Bluetooth 5.3, Wi-Fi 7, and ultra-wideband, and it's set to launch with One UI 7, based on Android 15. The starting price? Expect around $1,300 in January 2025. Overall, the Galaxy S25 series looks promising, with some familiar elements from its predecessor, but also exciting enhancements, especially with the Ultra model. The exclusive Snapdragon release means we should see some solid performance improvements across the board. The new design of the S25 Ultra is a refreshing change, especially since previous models had a similar look for a while. Plus, there's a lot of focus on AI, with the collaboration between Samsung and Google, which means we can expect some cool new features at launch. While those of you rocking an S24 might not feel the urge to rush out and upgrade, anyone with an older S model or those considering their first Samsung phone will find these devices very appealing. The launch is still a bit away, but we can expect plenty more leaks as January approaches, and I'll be here to share them as soon as they pop up. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a thing in the future.